Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Stock Partnerships. This is a really important stock, and um, I just love it to talk about it because it makes or breaks your success. Where are we at? Let's uh, look at our business model canvas as our map to locate um, the activities we are talking about. And we are right here on the left side of your value proposition. We are talking about how your product and services are being made, the key activities, and what kind of partners you need to do that. So here are the topics we will be going through. We start with our questions, move on to definitions about partnerships and types of partnerships. We are looking at um, the legal framework. We uh, dive into recipes. That's always uh, um, yeah, a topic everybody tries to engage in. How do you actually do the things? And the very important topic of strategic partnerships. Um, we will also look at one tool that will help you define um, the connection of partnerships to your business model. But let's start to question that whole topic before we are diving into it and ask ourselves the question again, can we not do it alone? Why do we need partnerships? It's much easier if you can just work on the topic alone, right? Do you agree? Well, it would be great if we could do that, but um, there is, millions of reasons why this is actually not working. And the main keyword in this here is complexity. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it's just not possible anymore to think of even, you know, trying to solve something alone. Our world has become so complex. And on top of that, it keeps on changing that looking at this question or trying to answer this question just from the skill possibility here is, is becoming impossible. Um, we have to put our heads together. We have to complement our own strengths and um, yeah, collaborate on bringing out solutions for the problems at hand. Not to say the least, of course, I think it is much more fun and much more interesting to work together with other people and to cross borders than to you know be working on something alone in your um, room at home it's just much more fun if you can communicate about this with your team members and um, yeah you have that satisfaction that real good feeling when you can uh, build a solution together with others. And you can be happy about it and celebrate together. So we have to answer this question, can we do it alone with a definite no? That means there's no way around all the questions and challenges that come with that topic partnerships. It's the secret formula, we all know, one plus one, does not equal anything else than three. Um, it is really important to get that into your heart, mind, and soul that working with someone else does increase the common result in the end and the opportunities that come along in the process. Maybe this is something like a life formula. Um, that we have to integrate into our world and recognize deeply within us that only together uh, we are more than just the sum of us. So coming back to the partnership questions now in our business context, um, when, do we actually 
you know, get the opportunity to, to think about, okay, maybe this question can be solved um, with partnering with someone else. So here are some of the trigger questions. So maybe if you are looking to uh, increase your market size without a lot of investment from your side, or you want to uh, enter a new market without having to, you know, creating it yourself, you want to use your resources much more efficiently without growing your, your company in a very uh, you know, extensive way. Or you want to improve your existing position in the competitive market. Or you want to get into a community-driven business. You want to become part of an ecosystem. All of these goals and all of these situations could be answered by partnering with other organizations. So here is the questions. The questions you can't escape. These are the questions you will be asked if you have decided to create your product and service and you're looking for people to join you or you're looking for funding partners, they will ask you about the partnerships that you have entered into. The main question is always, what is that core service, that expertise that you are so good at and which of the parts you have decided to complement with partners so that you can offer a comprehensive customer service on the market? And who are those partners that are really aligning with your goals that you can join on, on the journey? And why are these partners making you the better version of you? explaining that one plus one equals three. What's that secret ingredient uh, that helps you show up in a much better way for your customers? And here's our iceberg. So above the waterline is that big question about your partnership strategy, but uh, you have to know in all your details, you know, what goals and um, competencies are, are there that are beneficial to your partners. So it's about shared value, it's about win-win partnerships that are sustainable, many times based on uh, specific resources and technologies and knowledge that will glue you together with all the topics around legal contracts and agreements or intellectual property rights. So you see that this unconscious or, you know, maybe not unconscious, but internal um, agreements with these partners that you decided to work with are very, very big chunk to be able to, to show up um, in a transparent way on the market. So thank you very much for diving into the topic and understanding the depth of this topic. Maybe you can uh, write down the questions or the expectations that you have at this point so that um, we can solve them together in the next uh, pieces that make the stock partnership or to take them into the discussions with your team.